The Banco Central ng Pilipinas says many banks have waived fees for peso net and instapay transactions in time for the Yuletide season. This and other stories in tonight's business news wrap-up. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas, or BSP, says several banks have waived peso net and instapay fees for the holiday season or until December 31, 2023. BSP says many of the banks waived their fees except for Union Bank of the Philippines, which will only waive transfer fees until November 11. The United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, will broaden its support to the country's effort to upskill its workforce for advanced manufacturing and also help in boosting government cybersecurity capacity. This was what USAID Assistant Administrator of the Bureau for Asia expressed when he visited the Philippines. The first ever Metaverse Hybrid Conference was launched during the holding of the 52nd National Marketing Conference held earlier today in Makati City. Spearheaded by the Philippine Marketing Association, the event aims to increase the knowledge of the participants amidst the challenges facing the local market. When we crafted the talks and the speakers uh, that we would like to invite, we want them na once they go out, they got the learning and tomorrow, the following day, they get to apply whatever they learn. That's why we also provided the suppliers that they can collaborate with within, when it comes to activating these uh, new strategies in marketing. The provincial government of Negros Occidental has partnered again with the Federation of Irrigators Association of Central Negros Bago River Irrigation System for the holding of the Bigasa ng Bayan. Governor Eugenio Jose Laxon led the second opening of commercial stalls for the said project at the food terminal market where rice will be sold for as low as 25 pesos per kilo. This is Sharms Espina for The Nation.